Hey girl, so last time we talked about makeup brushes and what they are. Today we're going to talk about how to clean the makeup brushes, how to clean the beauty blenders, as well as talking about why makeup actually has expiration dates, something that I didn't follow myself until now. So stay tuned. All right, y'all, so cleaning your makeup brushes is very, very important. Um, something that I really didn't follow too much. Um, one thing that you wanna remember is just rinsing warm water. Rinsing your brushes in warm water is not gonna do the trick. Yes, you're getting some gunk of the makeup out, but you're not cleaning the back. You're not cleaning the brush, first off. Some makeup is still actually trapped in the brush and then also you're not getting rid of the bacteria that was on your face that you actually put into the brush which is disgusting when you think about it so remember clean disinfect and sanitize all right y'all so there is actually two ways that um, you can clean your makeup brushes it just kind of depends on how fast you need to clean them so if you're doing uh, makeup on other people's faces, you'll actually want to use like this little teardrop. And the teardrop is what's going to allow you to wipe the brushes and really, really get into those bristles and make that makeup kind of run out the brushes. Or you can kind of do it the old fashioned way and use what I call this little dinner plate. And the dinner plate is what's going to allow you to kind of whisk it around. And then you're also going to take the palm of your hand whisk it in your hand and then rinse it out with warm water not hot warm so to clean sanitize and disinfect you'll want to use extra virgin olive oil very cheap and affordable you can find it in your local grocery store this is what's going to help condition your brushes you just want to put in a small amount onto the pad and then next you want to have the pim olive antibacterial soap it's very important that it says antibacterial or else it won't clean and sanitize your brush. So now that you've swirled your brush into the both products which is the um, antibacterial soap and the extra virgin olive oil, you'll want to put it into the palm of your hand, really get it into the brush really really deep. So I'm swirling the brush into the palm of my hand just to make sure that the oil and the antibacterial soap is really getting deep into the brush. So as you see, it's kind of foaming around the bristles. That means that the makeup is actually getting ready to come out. So usually at this point, I like to run the brush under warm water, but I just don't want the loud water brushing in and all of that. So now I actually have full of water and I'm just going to kind of make pull the water pull the soap out of it and what you want to do is you want to make sure that you get enough warm water out of there so that the makeup is coming out slowly and you want to make sure that you're following along with the shape of the brush and then you'll just kind of keep pulling the product out until it starts to run. Once you're done cleaning the brushes, you want to make sure that there's no soap in the brush. If it is, then it won't dry right and the brush, the bristles will actually be looking a little crazy. So it looks like all the product is out of there and the brush should be able to go into a little point 
and then either to dry you can kind of put them on a paper towel I actually got started with a um, drying tower where the brushes actually can hang upside down let's say you need to dry your brushes like within five minutes really because you need to use that particular brush for uh, like right now for a particular look or for a client or whatever so instead of just putting your brushes on a dry stand where they hang upside down or you put them on a paper towel however it is you dry them a lot of times they take possibly about 8 to 12 hours to dry really really good but if you need them um, to dry really quickly you want to point your brush downward and put it onto just a regular old towel and swirl them around so we're just gonna go ahead and just swirl the brush in little small circles um, for small brushes they're gonna really dry within about 30 seconds to a minute for bigger brushes like this they could take up to two minutes and this is a dirty brush that I haven't even cleaned yet but just like that is brand new almost like it's been dried all right y'all so we got makeup expiration dates which are very very important and the reason why I say they're really important is you want to make sure that you're not reintroducing bacteria into your eye from double dipping because you didn't clean the product first that's just disgusting I know I did it um, when I would put on makeup as rare as I did now I actually put on makeup all the time um, and so you just want to make sure that your makeup stays clean and if you don't follow the expiration date then the strength of the product will also go down which kind of seems obvious but I just want to kind of tell y'all that so we got your mascara um, you want to replace this every three months um, then you have your liquid eyeliner you want to replace that every six months so anything with the eyes you just want to replace every three to six months just keep it simple um, foundation both the powder and the liquid you want to replace every 12 months mainly because it's already closed off then you have your concealer now this is what's different liquid every 12 months but powder every two years mainly because of the state of the product then you also have your lip gloss which is every 12 months because you're dipping back and forth and then you have your lipstick which stays solid you want to replace that every two years um, then you have like your your brow pencil eyeliner pencil I would definitely try to stick to like three months and also always sharpen your pencil at least one to two full turns so that that bacteria from the previous day of when you used it or if you use it on somebody else that you're not going to put it back onto a new person or even yourself but I know I kind of said that really quick um, don't worry but I'm going to put that down in the description box that way so you can kind of have a guide um, to make sure that you're doing everything right um, so we're gonna kind of finish going through the list I know it's really extensive but just work with me and I promise it'll help you out um, so we have the blush which is in powder form you want to replace that every two years and then we have the cream you want to replace that every 12 to 18 months then you have your gel liner replace it every two to three months I would say and then your eyeshadow every six to twelve months and then also if you can actually sanitize all of your products you'll love me for it later um, I use 91% isopropyl alcohol and that just cleans out all the bacteria every time I use it even though I'm using a lot of my makeup on clients but it'll just be really clean and you'll thank me later alright so a lot of times how I keep up with my expiration date is I go out and buy products and I put the month on the product that I purchased it and then I count however long from the list that we just talked about how long I should keep it now if I have never used the product like this one I'm actually not gonna follow that purchase date I'm gonna actually put a new little sticker on the product and follow it from that date that way so I'm not wasting money and flip is gonna love me for that later <laughs> all right 
girl. So it's a wrap for today. I know we went through a lot of things. Feel free to ask any question um, that you want. Um, if you need any clarification, I am available. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, comment and like this video. That way, so I'll know what you guys want next time. So I'll see you guys.